So the real question is, is smoking vapes a lot worse now than cigarettes? Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, but the, the guy in Nashville, Tennessee, had half a chunk of his head missing. You could see his skull and brains walking around downtown. Yeah, yeah they got zombies down there in Nashville? No. So this uh, this guy was in a car crash, went to the hospital. For some reason, they he checked himself out. I don't know how you're allowed to do that whenever you, half your brain is exposed. But he checked himself out because he couldn't vape. He was later seen on the streets smoking cigarettes. So the addiction to smoking vapes inside getting worse now that you can't smoke cigarettes everywhere. Well, so most places you really can't, you can't smoke anything inside. Oh, but like, people still you know? sneak it all the time. Well, yeah, like people, people zero the vape and everything like that. And I said, but if he was smoking cigarettes, that tells me he didn't have a vape and he was fiending so bad that he had to go get one. But on the way to go get one, he saw some dude smoking a cigarette outside. And was like, give me that. I'll take that one of those for the fucking right road. <laughs> and then, but also too, like, uh, yeah, that, that, uh, cigarettes aren't going to kill that guy. Neither is vaping. Cause he's walking around with half he's his head. Half gone. A brain. So yeah, I, no, I, no, I did read that. I did read it and see some of the pictures. I went on Twitter to try and find it. And there was, there, it was weird. There were some videos and pictures, but basically just imagine your forehead is gone and mm -hmm. it is a 90 degree indentation in your head with your skull and brain and everything else exposed and it's a weird situation uh because the the news source that put it out were, they went and found a lot of tweets uh about this guy there are a ton of pictures and videos about him and it seems like this guy has had this condition for quite some time it is possible the, the, again, nothing is confirmed, but some of the tweets go back a while and some of the reports come in from from people who have seen him over a last couple of years that he has been this way with his brain and, and skull exposed in this way for the last couple of years. Could you imagine walking around with your brain exposed for a couple of years? How is that even possible? I wonder what would like a cool breeze feel like what? if that like hit like... <laughs> Is that too fucked up? Is that was that bad? Instant brain freeze. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's, <laughs> if you have a you have too much of a slushy, you can just stick your finger in and stop the pain right oh. away. Yeah, no, like I, I mean, that's got to be. So, but so the thing is, like, he checked himself out, or like he got out. So that means a doctor was probably like, I mean, yeah, you could leave. <laughs> that's probably well, no, like, so can I go? Like, you're, you're not you're yeah, not legally ready. you can't hold somebody at the hospital if they want to leave they can just check themselves out yeah. at any time yeah. uh as long as they're not a threat to to, to other people mm -hmm. um but uh yeah yeah that's a that's a weird story uh, nashville you guys have some you weird things nashville? going on down there i have not i don't know if i want to go you're down Sean? there anymore I went once when I was a very little kid. Uh, oh, so you haven't trip. been to like the Broadway area? No, I went to the mission trip and stayed near in a very bad part of town. So, oh, cool. I've seen some stuff. No, oh. <laughs> just not somebody's brain exposed. Does not, not someone no, not some not. Expo exposed brain matter? Well, I uh, I would say that Nashville is like if uh, Bourbon Street and Las Vegas. And 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 the strip Broadway that that part of Nashville is like if Bourbon Street in Las Vegas the strip had a baby that is what Broadway is in Nashville it's uh, uh, and then you know put everybody in boots and cowboy hats that's that's essentially what it's like it's panda fucking monium now whenever you were there did you have to watch out for uh, like falling chairs and stuff <laughs> no no that was uh, I got there just in time actually when I missed that I missed that. Uh, <laughs> fun part of nashville i guess you could call it but no no flying chairs uh at all but i would say the rooftop bars there are pretty cool there's like hundreds of them we were at one where you could you could see was it nissan stadium now or something like that that's soulless hopeless stadium in nashville <laughs> yeah you could see that from from the uh one of the rooftop bars we were at it was pretty cool do they They're still have the, uh, uh, the batman tower there's a Batman tower. Um, this is this is news the, to me. Just Batman a tower, tower that looks like the Batman cow. I mean, maybe I don't know. I don't know. I went I went with a few buddies who like comic books too, and they didn't mention anything. So maybe hmm. not. Damn. Sean's nerding out over here. <laughs> That's the only thing I remember about Nashville. Besides Dr. the Doom part of town I stayed in. <laughs> hey, don't talk shit on Doctor Doom. Besides RDJ, I 
We don't have to get into that. <laughs> Topic for another time. Any <laughs> off season. <laughs>